He's comedian! Yeah. Coming to the stage, very funny dude. Y'all give it for my boy, Buncy! <laughs> Because you're not funny. And, and, I, and I tell them, well, it's, you know, why do I do anything here in life? It's to make more money and get more pussy. <laughs> and, and, and here, you know, people ask me, why did you move to Vegas? And it's just for that. I mean, here in Vegas, right. pussy and money are like synonymous. They're like, you can exchange one for the other. And, and put people really, they ask me, you know, why did you move here to Las Vegas? I said to open up a barbecue restaurant in a cannabis consumption lounge. Does anybody uh, smoke weed here? Yes, sir. Okay, well, well, actually, I'm a medical marijuana patient. I, I've been one for almost 10 years. But I've been a fan of the plant since I was a teenager back in, back in Texas. And, uh, but really, my... You know, people, I, I usually like to talk about the six different types of women that I'm meeting here, uh, here in Vegas since I've been back on the dating circuit. But actually, there, there's six different types of women I'm running into, but actually, I really, in the last six months, I realized there's only one type of woman I'm running into, and every woman I'm meeting is by. But the question is, are they bisexual or bipolar? Well, well they like that with the lesbian bars. But, but really, really, I, you know, I moved here from Portland, Oregon uh, about a little bit over a year ago. And, and in Portland, the thing is, you can identify as whoever and whatever you want to. Because that's the rules in Portland. And what it, what it is, is I'm... Uh, and now, and I tell people, if you have to explain your jokes, they're not funny. If you have to tell people who you are, you're nobody. But I'm Budsy. I'm, I used to be, I was telling you, I used to be Uncle Budsy. And, and I, I was Uncle Budsy the barbecue cook. And the, I learned how to cook barbecue from this Jamaican fellow that I called Uncle Budsy. He was the uncle of my best friend when I was 13 to 15. And being, he was from Jamaica, and being from Jamaica, he smoked a lot of ganja. And he used to call me Mickey Mon. He'd hold up a bud of weed, and he'd say, Mickey Mon, you want to smoke some Budsies? And being the uncle, I started calling him Uncle Budsy. But, and I became Uncle Budsy 2.0. But I, I, des I decided, I, I decided not to be Uncle Budsy anymore. <laughs> And, and the reason I wasn't Uncle, I'm not Uncle Budsy anymore is because when I got around with these young millennial white women and I told them I was Uncle Budsy, they kind of looked at me because what I realized, I was reminding them of their creepy uncle that molested them when they were 11 years old. So, so I'm not Uncle Budsy anymore. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually Dr. Budsy. I used to be a dental surgeon. I, I actually was a dental surgeon, and, and I wasn't a medical medical doctor. I mean, the thing is, if I had been a medical doctor, I'm sure I would have been a gynecologist, and and I know I would have gone to prison for that. But really, really, I'm, I I really like you know. People ask me again. They say, "Why do you do comedy? Because you're not funny." And I I said, "Well." It has been court mandated that I have to do comedy. And they look at me and say, what? And I said, yeah, I have to do comedy because, I see, I used to be, oh, I used to do movies in Hollywood. I was the stunt double for Ron Jeremy. Okay, but really, what I'll, I'll tell you is, like I said, I have, uh, I have really enjoyed being here in Vegas, because Vegas is a is a fun town. Like I said, I have I have met six different types of women here, really, since I've been the first type of woman I'm meeting. They're they're women that want to charge you for a date. That and, and it doesn't matter if it's ten minutes or ten years, you're going to pay somehow. 
I mean, and I, really, what I what I've noticed is I'm getting a lot of friend requests, and and actually, I went on Tinder here. I told you I've been back on the dating circuit here recently, but I went on Tinder, and I think it it may have been the profile I put. It was old, short, bald-headed white guy, but and and people, you know. I, and I wonder, what is it about us old, short, bald-headed white guys that women see, they can't seem to get enough of? Oh yeah, it's our money. And, and I wish I had some, because I have been married and divorced. If you count all the common law marriages, because I came from Texas. And the thing in Texas is if you're living with, with a woman, in Portland it's, if you're, it's a man, but if you're living with a woman for 30 days, you're considered married. And and I, uh, but really, what I what I see is there's five other types of women that I've met here, and the next time I'll tell you about what they are. I'm Dr. Budsy. Oh, just Budsy. Y'all have a good day. Now give us a Budsy one more time. Thank you, DJ, for playing some music. I appreciate that. That's what's up. <laughs> Keep the vibe going. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Buzzy one more time. Just DJ, DJ nothing. Huh, that's all I got. DJ nothing.